The Apostolic Plenitentiary provided information on the Divine Mercy Plenary Indulgence in a document issued on June 29, 2002. It made references to cases where individuals were unable to attend Mercy Sunday services in a church. The coronavirus situation would qualify since it was not foreseen in 2002. And the text reads, and I quote, All who for a just cause cannot leave their homes or who carry out an activity for a community which cannot be postponed may obtain a plenary indulgence on Divine Mercy Sunday. If totally detesting any sin, as has been said before, and with the intention of fulfilling as soon as possible, the three usual conditions will recite the Our Father and the Creed before a devout image of our merciful Lord Jesus. In addition, pray a devout, a devout invocation to the merciful Lord Jesus. For example, merciful Jesus, I trust in you. If it is possible that people do even this on the same day, they may obtain the plenary indulgence. If it, with a spiritual intention, they are united with those carrying out the prescribed practice for obtaining the indulgence in the usual way and offer the merciful Lord a prayer and the sufferings of their illness and their difficulties of their lives with the resolution to accomplish as soon as possible the three conditions prescribed to obtain the plenary indulgence and of quote. So therefore, for all of those who cannot pray in a church or chapel this weekend, the actions outlined that I just outlined uh, will be applicable. To receive the plenary indulgence, a person would have to, one, recite the Our Father and the Creed in front of the devout image of the merciful Lord Jesus, meet these con three conditions, or have the sincere intention to, fill, to fulfill them as soon as possible, being truly repentant and receiving absolution and sacrament of penance, reception of Holy Communion, and praying for the Holy Father's intentions, and have the total detachment from any inclinations, desire to sin, even venial sins. Trusting in His mercy, let us pray the song Divine Mercy Chaplet. We offer this chaplet for these intentions, to implore from Almighty God the end of the pandemic, relief for those who are afflicted, and eternal salvation or those whom the Lord has called to Himself, and for all the other intentions of our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gush forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the, the, the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Yeah.
In a 
Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your, to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. 